Hey, and we're back here again. Okay, so we're moving on to a little bit of uh, work on the abs and the trunk and flipping from the V-hold to now a Swiss ball plank. What we commonly see is people get this wrong. They dump into their lumbar spine, they put their weight on their legs, and they kind of don't use the full protraction ability of their shoulder blades, okay? So if that's too hard for you, and you need to regress the exercise, here's a couple of options. And we come back to our queen of not only the V-hole, but the Swiss ball plank. The first thing is you've got to take your weight over the ball, as Kate's done. The second thing is a slight posterior tilt, not too much, belly button drawing in. And then the third is rounding the shoulders as much as possible. And you can see Kate's nailing it here. Keeping the knees on the floor keeps a short lever. And then in that position, we don't put too much stress on the work. So don't try and be a hero and jump onto your toes if you can't hold it on your knees, okay? Then to make it a little bit harder, we can come back to Timsey. He sets up, he tucks his hips under, takes his weight forward, his shoulders are rounded, his belly button's drawing in, and he's squeezing his leg muscles. To make it a little harder, you move the ball, lengthen the levers, put a bit more stress in the system. Entirely up to you, but the whole thing is about the shoulder position, this spine position, and the hip position, making sure the weight's over the ball. So really focus on the details there. Start on your knees if you need to, lengthen out if you need to, and everything will be happy and activated and working, won't it?